1714 on a winter's day, cloudy. You can imagine being on a ship in the middle of the ocean. That's not a nice place to be. And there's no help at that point for finding where you are. You can't see the sun. You're not going to be able to work out accurately where you are. This idea that all around you is just sea, waves. How did they get there safely? What were the techniques, the instruments they were using? What did they rely on? How did they do it? I think for visitors coming to the exhibition, they'll be absolutely blown away by the Harrison timekeepers, these beautiful brass moving things. There are some objects that we know are fairly delicate, so only display rarely. And one is a beautiful compass. It's hand colored and it's just a joy to look at. So there's an interesting story of different schemes coming to fruition at the same time to help seamen, once they're adopted, uh, successfully navigate. I think there are several things we hope to achieve with the exhibit. One is to celebrate an extraordinary moment in the 18th century where what had once seemed an impossible problem, a problem like finding eternal life or the Philosopher's Stone, was solved. <laughs>